Sports betting fans, huge hello. Your sports betting advisor tips and streams is here again. What do we have today? We have predictions for 11 NBA games for December 15th. Before we get started, go to tipsandstreams.me and sign up for our newsletter to receive our daily sports betting predictions in your inbox, or subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all our betting tips and picks. So, let's get started. The opening match of Pitts Hawks against Magic. The Atlanta Hawks have been in a bit of a funk, having lost four of their last five games, and they'll be looking to avoid a third consecutive loss following a 132-126 home loss to the Rockets. During this time, the defense has slipped to 24th in defensive efficiency, allowing 117.1 points per 100 possessions. They score 110.8 points per game on 46.2% shooting while allowing 108.7 points per game on 45.5% shooting. The Magic have lost 12 of their last 13 games and will be looking to snap a 5-game losing streak after being thrashed by the Lakers in a 106-94 away loss. With 103.4 points per 100 possessions in that 13-game span, they rank 28th in offensive efficiency. They rank 26th in terms of defensive efficiency, allowing 115.7 possessions per 100. Take Hawks at minus 7.5. The next game is Rockets vs Cavaliers. The Rockets have been in great form, winning 8 of their previous 10 games overall, and they'll be aiming to keep it going after outlasting the Hawks 132-126 to on the road. They're scoring 105.9 points per game on 44.6% shooting, allowing 112 points per game on 45.1% shooting, shooting 34.2% from outside the arc and allowing 32.8% shooting from deep, and pulling down 44.3 rebounds per game. The Cavaliers have been in excellent form, winning 8 of their last 10 games, and they will be looking to extend their current 4-game winning run after defeating the Heat 105-94 at home. Cavs have scored 113.6 points per 100 possessions in their previous 10 games, averaging 106 points on 45.9% shooting while allowing 102.2 points on 44.3% shooting. From beyond the arc, they're shooting 35.3%. Play Rockets plus 9.5. The next game is Heat vs 76ers. The Heat have lost 5 of their last 8 games and will be looking to rebound after having their 2 game winning run snapped by the Cavaliers in a 105-94 setback on the road. In this time frame, the Heat were 22nd in defensive efficiency, allowing 114 points per 100 possessions. They score 107.6 points per game on 46.2% shooting while allowing 104 points per game on 43.9% shooting. Philadelphia has been in terrific form lately, winning 4 of their last 6 games, and they'll be looking to rebound after a 126-91 away defeat to the Grizzlies. They score 106.5 points per game on 45.8% shooting while allowing 105.9 points per game on 44.9% shooting. The 76ers are allowing 35% shooting from 3-point range and collecting 42.3 rebounds per game. Play 76ers at minus 5.5. The next game is Lakers against Mavericks. The Lakers have been in excellent form recently, winning 5 of their last 7 games, and they will be looking for their third consecutive victory after thrashing the Magic 106-94 at home. They're averaging 111.4 points per game on 46.5% shooting, allowing 112.1 points per game on 45% shooting, and shooting 35.3% from three-point range. The Mavericks haven't been at their best during the last month, but they've now won three of their last four games after beating the Hornets 120-96 at home are scoring 103.8 points on 44.3% shooting, allowing 105.6 points on 46.9% shooting, shooting 32.7% from 3-point range and allowing 36% shooting from long range, and collecting 43 rebounds per game. Play Lakers to win. The next game is Pacers at Bucks. The Pacers haven't been playing well lately, but they were on a 3-game winning run until losing 102-100 at home to the Warriors. They are averaging 108.1 points per possession on 46.1% shooting, allowing 106.1 points per possession on 45.3% shooting, and shooting 33% from outside the arc. The Pacers allow 34.9% 3-point shooting while collecting 45.4 rebounds per game. 
the Bucks have been on a roll, winning 12 of their last 15 games, but they'll be looking to rebound after being halted in their tracks by the Celtics in a 117-103 away defeat. The Bucks are averaging 110.8 points per game on 45.4% shooting, allowing 106.5 points per game on 43.4% shooting, and shooting 36.1% from three-point range. Play Pacers at plus 1.5. The next game is Pelicans vs Thunder. The Pelicans have been in a funk, having lost four of their last six games, and they'll be aiming to rebound following a 112-97 away defeat to the Spurs. They score 103.9 points per game on 43.2% shooting while allowing 109.8 points per game on 47.2% shooting. The Pelicans are shooting 33.9% from beyond the arc and allowing 37.1% from beyond the arc, while collecting 46.5 rebounds per possession. The Thunder have lost 10 of their last 12 games overall and will be looking to end a two-game losing streak after being blasted out by the Mavericks in a 103-84 home loss. They score 99.1 points per game on 41.2% shooting while allowing 108.4 points per game on 44.7% shooting. Thunder allow 36.7% three-point shooting and pull down 45.8 rebounds per game. Play Pelicans minus 1.5. The next game is Hornets against Spurs. The Hornets have been in a funk, having lost 6 of their last 8 games overall, and they'll be aiming to rebound following a 120-96 away defeat to the Mavericks. They are averaging 115.8 points per possession on 46.3% shooting while allowing 116.3 points per possession on 47% shooting. The Hornets are shooting 38.4% from outside the arc and 74.4% from the free throw line, while allowing 35% shooting from beyond the arc and collecting 43.6 rebounds per game. The Spurs have won six of their last nine games and will be trying to keep their winning streak going after defeating the Pelicans 112-97 at home. They score 108.3 points per game on 46.7% shooting while allowing 108.4 points per game on 45.7% shooting. Spurs are 35.2% from three-point range. Take Hornets at plus 4.5. The next game is Timberwolves vs Nuggets. The Minnesota Timberwolves have lost six of their last nine games, but they will be anxious to get back on track after ending a five-game losing streak with a 116-111 away victory over the Trail Blazers. They score 107.8 points per game on 42.4% shooting while allowing 109.3 points per game on 44.8% shooting. They are shooting 33.4% from outside the arc and 77.1% from the free throw line allowing 33.5% shooting from beyond the arc, and pulling down 45.4 rebounds per game. The Denver Nuggets have won 5 of their previous 8 games and will be looking for their third consecutive victory after defeating the Washington Wizards 113-107 at home. They score 105.5 points per game on 46.4% shooting and allow 105.5 points per game on 46.9% shooting. Play Timberwolves at plus 5.5. The next game is Wizards vs Kings. The Washington Wizards have lost five of their last six games and will be looking to avoid a third consecutive defeat after falling to the Nuggets 113-107 on the road. The Washington Wizards are hitting 32.7% from three-point range and 77.8% from the line. The Washington Wizards allow 34.2% three-point shooting and pull down 45 rebounds a game. The Sacramento Kings have lost five of their last eight games and will be looking to snap a three-game losing streak after being blasted by the Raptors in a 124-101 away setback. The Sacramento Kings score 111.2 points per game on 45.3% shooting while allowing 114 points per game on 46.2% shooting. Play over 225.5. The next game is Grizzlies vs Trailblazers. The Grizzlies have won 8 of their last 9 games and will be looking for their 4th consecutive victory after blasting the 76ers in a 126-91 home triumph. They score 110.4 points per game on 45.1% shooting while allowing 109.9 points per game on 46.2% shooting. The Portland Trail Blazers have lost 9 of their previous 10 games and will be aiming to snap a 6-game losing streak after falling to the Suns in a heartbreaking 111-107 overtime home loss last night. 
the Blazers score 108.3 points per game on 45.3% shooting while allowing 111.2 points per game on 47.2% shooting. Play Blazers to win. The last game for today is Clippers vs Jazz. The Clippers have won 5 of their last 6 games and will be looking to extend their current 4 game winning run after defeating the Phoenix Suns 11.1-95 at home. They're averaging 106 points per game on 44.7% shooting, allowing 104.6 points per game on 44.1% shooting, allowing 33.7% shooting from 3 point range, and collecting 44.2 rebounds per game. The Jazz have won 11 of their last 13 games overall, and they'll be looking for their 8th straight victory after a 123-98 away triumph over the Wizards. They are averaging 115 points per game on 47.9% shooting while allowing 104.4 points per game on 44% shooting. Play Jazz minus 8.5. That would be all. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and newsletter. See you tomorrow.